in June 2023, something happened that few were expecting. All right, up next, we got breaking news from Russia. Now, the leader of the Russian paramilitary Wagner group turning his forces towards Russia. A video posted online overnight showing Russian armored vehicles on the move. Reports of gunfire of Russian helicopters firing on the Wagner troops. We, we understand that roadblocks have been erected in certain places on the outskirts of Moscow. Unclear the number of Wagner forces moving towards the capital, but this is a absolutely extraordinary time. And as Wagner headed towards Moscow, pundits started to make predictions. Is this the beginning of the end for Putin? It's a matter of time now before the Russian regime collapses. And I think the possibility of some sort of last minute rapprochement between Prigozhin and Putin increasingly remote. But then suddenly there was another unexpected turn of events. We've just had a couple of lines of breaking news. Yevgeny Prigozhin has reportedly said that he has stopped the convoy. Is reportedly going into exile in Belarus after abandoning his advance on Moscow. In the middle of an event that no one was predicting, something else happened that no one had predicted. And in fact, the Ukraine war has been full of events just like this. A month before the Wagner mutiny, in a move that surprised many, there were raids into Russian territory by Ukrainian armed groups. And in the same month, the Ukrainians surprised the world with drone strikes on Moscow, the start of an air war on Russian territory that few had seen coming. In this war, we've also had Ukraine's attack on the Kerch Bridge, its unexpected ability to retake thousands of square kilometers of territory in Kharkiv, the sinking of the Moskva, the flagship of the Black Sea Fleet, and Ukraine's defense of its capital, where many expected it to be overrun by the Russian offensive. And of course, the whole war began with a surprise, an invasion that until the final moments, most saw as unlikely. It's been one unexpected event after another. Decades ago, the military historian Michael Howard wrote, this is an aspect of military science which needs to be studied above all others in the armed forces. The capacity to adapt oneself to the utterly unpredictable, the entirely unknown. And that's what war is, utterly unpredictable. Something long recognized by everyone from theorists of war to novelists. But the truth is this lesson of unpredictability applies to current events generally. Southern tip of Manhattan, you're looking at the uh, World Trade Center. Just in my lifetime, there's been the shock of the September 11th attacks. Which has 25,000 employees will be liquidated. The Great Recession. The Arab Spring. The British people have spoken and the answer is we're out. Brexit. But Donald Trump wins Wisconsin, surpassing the 270 electoral votes. The US vote for Trump. Had once been one of Hollywood's most important producers, losing his place at the helm of Miramax. Me too. Just as walked to the American embassy in southwest London, they chanted Black Lives Matter. The George Floyd protests of 2020. <laughs> and COVID. All huge events that had colossal impact but were largely unanticipated. And in fact, just as I'm recording, a horrific raid by Hamas in Israel has completely upended world events in a way no one was expecting a few weeks before. Yet despite all this, when you look at all the forecasts and predictions we like to consume, it seems like we often forget how big a role unexpected events play. Part of the problem is just how we think. Here's psychologist Daniel Kahneman, author of a book that people have on their bookshelf but find too boring to actually finish reading. One of the major phenomena of cognition is really hindsight. It's the fact that as soon as something happens, we understand it. And we think we understand it. We couldn't predict it, you know, five minutes earlier, but now it's all clear. We always exaggerate how, how much certainty there is because after the fact, everything is, is explained. Everything is, is obvious. The name for this is hindsight bias. And if you want an example, just look at the commentary on the Wagner mutiny. Oh, such tension or such a conflict was inevitable. That's absolutely the case. But Secretary of State Antony Blinken says their power struggle is not a surprise. For months, the administration was tracking mounting tension. Part of a scenario that has probably been anticipated here in Ukraine from the very beginning of this war. And something about this that I find tragic is that reading history, which is something I love, seems to almost make this worse. When you learn about the root causes of the Second World War or the fall of the Berlin Wall, these events can start to feel inevitable. But the truth is the opposite. That's the level of unpredictability of history. And it, it comes up to the present. You can read all, I mean, you could know everything you could possibly humanly know about 2021, but you wouldn't know what's going to happen in 2022. Right? You just wouldn't. It's only afterwards that it all seems like it had to happen. Right? Like up until February 24th, of course Russia is not going to invade Ukraine. After February 24th, oh, of course Russia was going to invade Ukraine. That's how our minds work. Okay, the world is unpredictable, even if we'd like to forget that. But where does that leave us? Well, first, although we can't predict exactly what will happen, 
we can predict that something unpredictable will happen. Yet so many people in politics, as well as government services, operate at full capacity, with no slack in the system ready for when that next unexpected event hits. And secondly, we should realise that rather than trying to see the future, an effort more likely to mislead you than help you, we can prepare ourselves to adapt to whatever that next new reality will be. As Michael Howard put it, in these circumstances, when everybody starts wrong, the advantage goes to the side which can most quickly adjust itself to the new and unfamiliar environment. So, whatever the next twist in the Ukraine war is, or in current events generally, avoid your brain's desire to see it as inevitable, and instead plan for more twists to come. If you're interested in the Ukraine war, the next video you should watch is this one, where I argue against the strangely popular idea that it was the West that was solely to blame for Russia's invasion. <laughs>